This is the second dialogue between J. Krishnamurti and David Bohm, which includes Dr. Parshare, at Brockwood Park, 1975. Where do we start? Huh? Where do we start? Do you have any idea? Lots of people have talked about it. <laughs> So you if truth is something totally different from reality, then what place has action in daily life in relation to truth and reality? Would that can we yeah. Can we talk about that? Yes. One would like, or one should, or one must, or not in future, one has to act in truth. And we said the action of reality is entirely different. Yes. <clears throat> From the action of truth. Now, what is the action of truth? Yes, well... Is it, is that action unrelated to the past, unrelated to an idea, an idea, therefore out of time. Mm -hmm. Right, sir? Yes. And is there an action ever out of time? Or actions always involved in time? Can you say that uh, the truth acts in in reality? I mean, that is that uh, because we were saying that at the end of the last time that uh, although reality may have no effect on truth, truth has some effect on reality. Is, yes. But how? But one would like to find out if one lives in truth. Not the truth of reality, but the, but that truth which is not related to reality. Reality being what we said the other day, a, a process of thought, think about something that's real or reflected upon or distorted, which is illusion and so on, we went to all that. So what, what is action in truth? If it is not related to reality, if it is not an action in the movement of time, then what is action there? Is there such action? You follow what I mean? Can my mind disassociate itself from the past and idea of I shall be or will be or must be or should be a projection of my own desires and so on? Is there an action which is totally separated from all that? Am I kind of 
putting the question rightly or am I? Uh, uh, Perhaps we're going you know, very fast. Yes, it's, it's too far to uh, Because you see, well, I think ordinarily it's the action is related to the fact, you see, too. Yes, fact is, as we said, yes. that which is being made or that which is done. being done now. Or, that, according, there's another meaning, that which is actually perceived or. See, that, that which is actually established by perception or by experience. Which is now. Which is now. Which is now. Yes. That is, the seeing is the doing. Yes. Hmm? Perceiving is the acting hmm. in the present. And the present, is it a continuous movement of the past through the present to the future? Or is the present a thing that is whole, that's complete, that is sane, healthy, holy, and everything in that word, whole? Oh. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Because I think this, this is rather important to find out. Because a, a man wants to live in truth, this is his first demand. What is action in relation to truth? I know the action in relation to reality, which is based on memory, which is based on environment, circumstances, mm-hmm. uh, adaptation. Or an action, I will do something in the future. Yes, now, is there a, a separation between truth and action? That is, if that's you, what I, that's yeah, it. If you say a relationship, mm-hmm. or is it the truth acts? Yes, yes. Or yeah, that's right. Is truth the action? Truth or is action. It, yes. yes. Or is truth? Acts unrelated to time. Yeah, unrelated to time, but it is action itself. Action itself. That's as we said, perceiving yeah. is the doing. Yes. I mean, truth is what establishes the fact, then, isn't it? Yes. And the fact, you say, too, is not only what is being done, what is being made, but the actuality of the moment. Yes. It's the, it's the actual act of... Perception. Perception. Which establishes the fact. Fact, yes, that's right. So is perception a movement of time, a, a, a thing that comes from the past to the present and the future? Or is perception unrelated? Yes, I should say it's unrelated. Unrelated, yes. So we are saying, is this uh, what we are saying? That perception is action, and action is truth. And that truth is the perception of the actual, the what, yes. the what is, the moment of it. Yes, <laughs> so there's a peculiar history of that, because you know some people have said, as the pragmatist, the truth is either that which works or the truth works. Now, that isn't yes, quite the yes. same thing. <laughs> no. You have a moment of time between the truth and, the, well, and how it works, you see, in that view. Uh, that's, that's wrong. And that's wrong. Oh, yes. Moment you have a gap. You're... Yes. So the truth is action itself. And yes. the... So can, can a human being, like, can a human being, Let truth operate. Well, you say that the action or operation of truth is in, in, in reality is intelligence. I mean, or is there because in some yes. way, right? Yes, it must be, of course. Uh, because uh, in some sense, intelligence is uh, an action of truth. Right? An action of truth? Uh, it is not cultivable. No. Hmm? 
Thank you. We are saying a lot of things. I don't right. know. We are saying a lot of things. We may, That's uh, very difficult mm. to establish. I mean, if you want to take it as a fact, then... Yes, I just did. It has to be established. Uh, but... Uh, because we discussed intelligence before, and in some way we seem to be as discussing truth in the role that we're previously giving intelligence. intelligence you see, it's very hard to make these words clear. Yes. Uh, what is the root meaning of the word truth? Well, I looked that up. It had, no, we discussed it last time, but I'll repeat. I've yes. looked it up more carefully since then. Uh, the English word true has a root meaning, meaning honest and faithful. Uh, mm. And the uh, Latin word verus means yes. that which is. That which is. So that I which think is. both meanings are relevant to this. Yes. And saying that reality must be honest and faithful <laughs> to yes. that which is. That see, quite. Like a machine that runs true. You see, the, the word true in English does not have quite the same meaning as verus in Latin. It may have it, but it has other shades of meaning. Right. Verus, that which is. Of that course. which is. There's an English word, sooth, which means that which is. It's gone out of usage. <laughs> Quite. And it comes from essay. Essay. Yeah, from the Latin word. But, uh, so, what I'm trying to get at is can a human being mm -hmm. live only in the present, in the sense that we are talking of the present, which is live with what is all the time and not with what should be or what has been. <coughs> yes, well I think the principal question arises whether you can be clear on on all the other things, you know, on uh, that which is not, you say. On yes, that which is not quite. Uh, but which appears to be that which is. <laughs> appears that which is quite. Therefore, we should go back, Shantuisa. What is perception? Mm -hmm. If I can perceive clearly what is, what is reality, mm -hmm. and all the illusions and the sanity of reality, the reasonableness of reality and the unreasonableness of reality, the illusion and the, and the actual. If I, if I see that clearly, then can I look, at, can there be a perception of what is, which we say is truth, and that very perception is action in which there is no operation of thought. Is that what we are trying to say? Yes. Would you say that the, when we say perception of what is, that implies a separation again? I know, I mean, like perception. The perception that is. Huh? Yeah. I mean, that, that what is... It is not, there is no, there is no observer uh -huh. and the observed. There is only the... Yeah, I mean, it's very hard in our language to avoid this, you see, yes. because... Yes. Uh, uh, as I said, the, the perception or the fact is what is, not the, the, the act. The act is what is, right? Yes, yes. Now, but we have to get clear uh, what we mean by this whole yes, world. Sir. Right? Yes, yes. Are you saying, sir, the what is ha, has, has its own action? Yeah, or it is its Ah, that's it. It right. is its own action. Yes. Yes. See that we have to be the language continually tends to put in separations. Of course, that, that's. But um, you see, I, I thought that uh, see, see, since last time I've looked up a number of things Good. which are connected with what we said, and I went over this question of reality again. You see, and uh, uh, one important point about reality is the notion of uh, substance. You see, because we tend to think that things are real and have some substance. 
Yes. You know, that, this, the, that is the, that they exist in themselves. See, the word substance is just substance. It stands under. Stands under, correct. It has, the very meaning of the word is that it's the reality which underlies uh, the world, you know, the appearances of the world, you know, the permanent reality which underlies the appearances of the world, the notion of substance. So this is part of our idea of reality. It's a kind of essence, you see. Essence? Substance is a sort of essence, a permanent reality which would underlie all the appearances. Appear quite, quite. And I think that's part of the notion of reality, which, you see, part of the problem is this, that we think of reality not merely as things or appearances, but as some substance which underlies all of the appearances and which therefore is what is. You see, in other words, our thought implicitly tells us that reality is what is and that truth is about reality, you see. Ah, uh -huh. I don't get it. You see, we tend to think that what is is the real, is reality. No, ah, I understand. And our truth right. would only be to know correctly about right. reality. Right. <coughs> now, what, you're, what we're proposing here is to turn it around, say truth is what is, and yes, and reality as a whole is nothing but appearances. You see, is what's being proposed, as I see it, a kind of appearance which may be a true appearance or correct appearance. Yes, you see, or it may be wrong. You know, maybe illusion, but. There's a tremendous habit of saying that reality is what is, you see. Quite, quite, quite. The, the, yesterday, the doctor and I were looking at the Sanskrit dictionary. Maya is not only measure, yes. but also illusion. Yes. Yes, uh, you see, in other words, you, I mean, I understand this doctrine of Maya now to say that the world, the, you could take it to mean that the reality that we see is illusion, but I don't like the word illusion because no, no, I don't. I don't the word it. illusion implies that there is another reality. Yes, yes. In quite, other words, quite. perhaps that Atman might be the reality or Brahman. Yes, yeah, that's and, that's it. That's it. And uh, therefore, uh, but what's being said here is not that, but that reality, no matter in what form, is not illusion, but it's an appearance which you know may. You know, maybe a, a true appearance, as it were, or it may be false. You know. Quite, quite. Uh, but appearance has its function. You see, uh, it's necessary. But men have always searched for that which underlies the permanent reality, which underlies appearances. The appearances are always changing. You can't trust them. So that motor, that car, yeah, is a reality. Yes. But we have to say that this this reality is is not that which is, do you see, in, in that sense. Yes. It's a kind of appearance, but it is also a fact, you see, because uh, we can say that uh, uh, it's an actual fact because either it is actually uh, functions or we actually perceive it or something, you see. In other words, to say that, that motor car is a reality there's a sort of an implied statement in the way you're talking that it's an actual fact as well, you see. Yes, quite right. Yes. But, uh, not merely a reality. It is an actual fact, it is yes. that. Yes. Whereas reality might be something very abstract, you see, like saying that uh, an idea, an uh, idea uh, might be taken as real. Uh, reality, see. quite. Uh, you see, or even walking on a road in a dark night, some shape may be real to you, but it's it's illusion, quite. It's, it's, it's not an actual fantasy. fact, you see, yeah, it's not. It's not quite. You know. So, uh, uh, th this is the, I'm, I'm saying that there is an unconscious thought process. You know, our thought is not only conscious and the ordinary unconscious, but uh, there's a sort of a deeper unconscious, which is just that movement by which we invest everything we see with the shapes of thought. Do you right, know what I mean? Right. We give, Word, thought. Yes, and it goes faster than form. A form comes in faster than uh, you are aware of. Right. And that, and that seems to be part of the reality. Right. It is part of the reality. It is part of it, quite. Uh, no. Is desire a fact? 
Uh, don't, don't let's go into that yet. I want to be clear for myself. You said about the object, like car. But if we go into the abstract things, which uh, are not within the scope of our senses, but they are, their validity, whether they are facts or not, is to be decided. Like uh, So we said, if I understood it rightly, we said it's a fact and it's also known fact as a reality. I must be careful here. Just let me get clear. We said reality is a projection of thought. Think about, reflect upon. And anything that thought creates or makes is a reality, either as a distortion or an actuality. Now, we've said that. And we are trying to find out what is the relationship between truth and reality. We're going over what we talked about the other Sunday. Is there any reality? Is there any connection between the two? That's one point. And the other is, is there an action which is different from the action of reality and the action of truth? Not action and truth, truth acting. Whereas there is a division in Reality. A division of what? Between the observer and the observer. Oh, yeah. yes. The observer is one reality, observing the observer the other, is another. Other reality. Ah, we are getting ideas. Ah. But truth is indivisible. Indivisible. So is there an action in, my, in one's life which is indivisible? Because if, if, if I can't, if the mind cannot find that indivisible action, it must be always in time, in conflict, in sorrow, and all the rest of it must fall. So you could, I was looking at it the other day, that one could think there's one field of reality as a field, would that be reasonable? Mm -hmm. uh, which contains all the things you know, that might be there, and it contains uh, the part of me, it yes. contains thought. Yes. The thought is real. And, uh, and all these things react to each other and reflect on each other. Interrelated. They're interrelated by reaction reflection. So my thought is no different from all the interrelation. If thought has created them, they're all interrelated. They're all interrelated. <clears throat> now, See, and if we look at nature, let's say, I mean, at one point of view, nature is real, but it seems to be implied something beyond that. No, I would, would that is, that is, that tree is, yes. therefore it is true. All right, but I can, I can distort it. Yes, well, let's come, that's the point I was trying to get at, you see. Uh, See, if we say that the tree is, is that which is, and is truth, and ever, and then, then we are coming to a point of view, with, or an idea, I don't know, a way of putting it, that to say that the reality is not a substance, but we are in a way saying truth is the substance. Uh -huh. I you see. see it. Uh, yes. In other words, the role which we were previously assigning, the, the role of substance is to underlie, to stand under. Under, yes. And, you know, it may be the word understand uh, is related to that, you see, to stand under. Uh, yes, yes, right? yes, sir. Now, uh, because, uh, well, we just want to discuss that. But the, um, you see, we are seeking in some way a substance, something that stands under the appearances, right? 
and we seek it in reality. You see, this this has been an age-long habit. Right. We're looking for some solid reality that underlies, permanent reality that underlies all the changes, you know, and explains, you know, so we understand. <laughs> now we hope to understand okay. that way, right? To stand under it. <laughs> uh, but it may be that, see, to say that the whole of reality is no substance, it does not have independent existence, do you see what I mean? That yes. It that's, is a that's field, it is a field, and truth, what we have, and what stands under this reality is truth, you see, this is, would that make sense to you? But that, that would lead us to a great danger. There's a danger in there, but I'm trying to say, uh, is there any way of you know, making this point clearly? Mm. I understand that. That is, under the subs, under... Or within or something. Yes, yes inner, outer, yeah, and um, the inner is the truth. Mm. Are you saying that? Not exactly, no, but I mean, uh, I'm saying that uh, we are saying, look, uh, that truth is action. You see, there. Yeah. Not, Let's not. see. If truth is truth is action. And it's actuality and so on. Uh, Perception is action. Yes. Seeing is action. Now, if you yes. say the tree is truth, the actuality of the tree is the action. Yes. And so. Yes. The 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 seeing, the seeing is the action of that. Of the tree. Yes. No, but, but you see, this turns it around. See, it's very hard from our use of language because one gets confused quickly. One it turns it around the other way. One tends to think the tree is a reality and I see it. Do you see? Uh -huh. Do you see quite, the quite, comment? Quite, quite, yes. Uh, now, you have to try to get hold of this very subtle new thing, my new approach, right? Quite. Right, of language. You say the seeing of the tree is. Is the truth? Uh, is, is the truth, action? Is the action? action? Would you say it's the tree then? Would you say that the seeing is the tree? So, in in seeing the tree yes. is the action. Yes, seeing is the action. Mm. Now, does the tree have any action in itself? Uh, you know, obviously it's growing or it's, growing it's dying. So on, or then that's the point that we're trying to get. Because if you only talk about the seeing as the action, it's always the question is in the back of your mind: What about the rest of the action? Right. You see, that's where the notion of the ah, substance comes Yes, substance. I understand. In other words, uh, you see, uh, uh, see, uh, see, we're trying to understand this. See, and I see a problem. I say, seeing tree is action. That's very clear. Yes. <laughs> but yes. then I begin to think the tree has its own action. Of course. It, I don't see of it. course, it, which I don't see. Yes. And yes. I say, what about that? How do I consider that? Do you see? Why should, I, I, why should I consider it? I'm just asking, why should well, I consider it? Well, to understand, you see, for example, uh, you think the tree is growing, you know, whether you're in no, some... then that becomes uh, the process of thought. Yes. How to feed it, how to help it to grow better, yes. and shelter it, and so on, so on, so on. Yes. But, you see, the, we tend to get into this uh, situation to say that only what we see at this moment Ah, I see it. There's yes, significance, yes, do yes. you see? <laughs> uh, I want to put it so that we uh, do justice to the other thing too, you know, without yes. contradicting right. any of this. Yes. I, mean, I don't know how, you see. Now let's begin again a little mm -hmm. bit. Would you, I mean, we say seeing is the is action. Yes, there's no doubt about that. No doubt. Mm -hmm. I seeing the tree is action. Mm -hmm. But the tree, the actual the actuality, has its own activity. Its own activity or, and other people have their own action, their own yeah. activity when I don't see them. Yes. Yeah. The tree has its own activity. Yes. Now thought can come along and help it. To yes. grow properly, feed it and all the rest yes. of it. Why should there be a division between seeing and seeing acting and the tree growing? Why should there be a division? Well, the trouble is, uh, the way we put it, it sounds like there's one so far. Uh -huh. so I'm not saying there should be. So, we said to earlier, seeing 
acting is intelligence. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I, I think what I put was that truth, acting, and reality. I don't know if that, that was I proposed as a guess, is intelligence. Yeah. Truth, acting, and in reality. In the field of reality. In the field of reality is intelligence. Yes. Which means, let me get this clear. It won't be right, you see. No, no I'm, not qu- I'm, sh- I'm not sure it's right. I want to question it. Truth acting in the field of reality is intelligence. But truth is intelligence. Well, that's, that's another way that I want to propose that, that truth is intelligence. Yes, because truth is the, is the seeing, is the acting, hmm? and the acting, and that action is whole. And therefore it is intelligence. Any action that is whole, it must be intelligent. Now, why do we use two words at all, then, you see? Uh, I mean, wouldn't it No, be? I, would, I, want to, I don't want to get stuck with one word. Oh. No, but I mean, the word, if you use two words, it suggests you're looking at it somewhat yes, different, different from the other word. Right. Uh, but it's not clear what the difference is, you see. Because, sir, would, would we try if I said, Seeing is the doing, and therefore it is intelligence, and that intelligence is the essence of truth, and that that intelligence operates in all the field. All right. Mm. Intelligence operates in all the field, but if you say intelligence is the essence of truth, it's not clear, you see. Uh, essence of truth in the sense, <laughs> the seeing is the doing. The seeing what is, is action. Mm -hmm. That action operates through intelligence. Now now we've made a kind of a distinction. Ah, Yes, I know. See, it's not very clear. I know, I'm trying to go (laughs) here. You see? So, I want to find out, that's what I want to get at. I want to find out. Is it possible to live entirely in truth? If you could start from uh-huh. there, perhaps we can enlarge, go into it. That is, he's functioning only with what is. Yes, yeah, sorry, that's huh? it. Look at that. So we, let's look at that. That he's he's not bringing into operation his memories, his remembrances, his personal reactions, and all that. But acting, let let the fact act. Yes, and the fact, as I say, it includes also the action of memory and reality, as long as you see. That, that, that is part of the fact. fact yes. That memory is actual. Yes. Memory can be an actuality. Yeah, of course it is. And the, therefore we can see memory as an actuality. Yes. And that is still act, you know, acting in truth. Mm-hmm. So, see, because, you know, we have to be able to act in truth even when we are doing, you know, when we are using memory. And I say engaging in some relation with the tree, you see, to make it grow. So would you say if one was living in truth hmm, and therefore living with that capacity of intelligence, hmm, and that intelligence operates in the field of reality, and also beyond it. Because it's beyond it, because it's yes. outside yes. reality. Yes, so intelligence is the action of truth, but it can operate in the field of reality. Yeah, that's all we're saying. Yes.
Yeah, suppose we were saying the field of reality is a field, we don't commit ourselves to it. Now we were discussing last time it should be uh, true in the sense of being straight and, and healthy and sane yes. and so on. <laughs> And not Good distorted, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holistic. <laughs> yeah. And now we don't say what this, see, we don't know what this field of reality is. I propose that it's, in some sense, it, it is not a substance. It doesn't stand by itself. But now we can, op a truth can operate in that field. Yes. And Intelligent. intelligently, and thus far we have no serious, no problem using it. Yes. I mean, it's when we try to say, does the tree have its own action when we are not looking at it, it may begin to produce a problem. <laughs> not looking at it, it's going on. Yes, it's going on, but uh, then, then we have to say that's part of the field of reality. You see, we, yes. Don't, yes. Uh, we accept the field of reality as operating. Quite sure. You. You, you live in truth, and your actions in reality are guided by intelligence. Yes. With, 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 guided by intelligence. And I observe you as an observer and the observer, two different entities. I observe you, and I want to find out how to live in the same way, mm -hmm. which yes. means you, you have no contradictions, you have no, uh, you are living always with what is. Mm -hmm. Yes, eh? how, am, how am I to come to that? Because I see an enormous possibility in what, what you are. I don't know if I'm making myself. Yes. I see that's, that is real creative way of living. And whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever you write, has got that quality. Now, not that I'm greedy or that I'm, I'm envious of you, I say what marvelous thing it is if, to have that capacity. Now, how am I, who always thought in duality, hmm? the observer and the observed, the truth is something for all that business, how am I to come to that? Because if it is something unique to you, hmm. Hmm, then I'm, <laughs> I'm lost interest. Yes. It can't be unique. Uh, then therefore, it won't be true. Right? And I, that just did. <laughs> that just did. Uh, so how am I? Not how. Not the methods and all that silly stuff. But how? How to get that thing? How? I want to live the way you do. Not ambitious, greedy, or all that silly stuff. I see that. I can't imitate you. You're not my example. But I'd like, but there must be that same perfume in me as you have it. Now, what am I? You follow, sir? I understand very clearly the field of reality. Now I'm beginning to understand from your discussion, the field of reality and truth, which is the seeing of what is and the operation yes. of seeing what is, which is in, that, is, that intelligence can operate in this area yes. of reality. And because it is intelligent, it will never distort that reality. Mm. Yes. It will never go off into a nationalist, what, a distorting activity. So, I see that very clearly. Understand it verbally, perhaps, intellectually. 
and I feel little emotionally attracted to it. What am I? How am I to come to that? This truth is indivisible, which means that truth is indivisible. And therefore, well, but I have, I am divided. I am fragmented. Yes. I am broken up. You, you follow? I am living in reality only. Well, I have to say the you know, the falseness of that. You say the. Uh, When, as truth arises, when ah, mm. you see, the, then you give me not hope or anything. Mm. Then I'm lost. You follow? I'm. I haven't got the ground to stand on. I know how to operate in reality because I've been trained, uh, conditioned, and um, you know all that. I know how to do that. Either I do it badly or excellently, rising above all that. But I haven't got this other thing. Doesn't it become another part of your reality as a projection of the state in which... Uh, no, I, I'm telling you, sir, I only know the reality. I have observed that reality being distorted, I've observed that the energy of reality hmm, operating uh, rationally and irrationally. I'm quite familiar with that. But then you're observing he is doing. No, no. I, that, he tells me that. No, no. Keep it too strict. <laughs> he tells me that. I don't know what that means. I understand it intellectually, I understand it, the verbal communication, but the, the fact of it. Well, when you say you don't understand, uh, let's see, when you say that you see that reality is distorted, for example. Yes. Uh, that seems that therefore the, something is beyond reality and seeing it. And yeah, that's why I said I begin to see what distortion is. Yeah, and that, to see that requires truth, right? <laughs> wait, wait, that, does it require truth? That's what I want to... Well, let's look into that. Yeah, that's that what I want to get at, slowly. That, if there's no truth, then I don't see it. Uh, that's what I want to get at that. Yeah. Is that the beginning or the the quality of reality? You follow me, sir? No, of truth, sorry, of yeah. truth. Seeing in the field of reality the distorting factors. Yes. Seeing what's false, the false. Uh, false, uh, false, neurotic, yes. and all the rest of it. Is that the, the seed of the other? Well, it has to be. Uh, that's what. I, because you say, I, if you see it, then. If, it, if it's only reality seeing reality, then oh, it has no meaning. No meaning, quite. <laughs> that comes in the field of intelligence. Ah, no, sir, no, no, hmm. don't jump to anything. I, refuse. I want to see, I want to find out, one wants to find out, having operated in the field of reality, all my life, and seeing the distortions in that field, the seeing of that distortion is truth. That's what I want to say. Yes. Huh? Yes. Seeing the fact... That has to be true. Then. Truth. But you said the man living in reality only verbally understands this. Uh, no, 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 no. The man lives in reality. I live in reality. Reality being all the things thought has put together. All the thing, all, all the activity of thought, thinking about something or reflecting upon. 
a thought distorting, thought rational, straight, thread, all that. I have lived in that. And here comes along a doc uh, doctor and says, look, truth is that which is. And he says, when you see the distortion, that is the truth, that is action. Such a person will not act. No, 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 just listen, don't, don't discuss with me yet. <laughs> don't discuss with me yet. He says, the seeing that in the field of reality, the seeing a distortion, which is the fact, that fact which, which is, that is reality, that is truth. I've got it. Right, sir? So you have told me, when you see without the observer, <laughs> When you see the observer and the observed is one, that is reality. That's true. I'm, I'm mixing up each time. Yeah. That is truth. Well, we made a jump between uh, seeing the distortion and seeing the, That's it. That's the it. observer and the observed is one. No. one. That's right. Ordinarily, see, I would say that I would say I have seen that the reality is distorted. But at that moment, I still don't see the observer and the observed as one. Not it seems yet. to be a Not jump, right? Jump. That's a jump, yes. Uh, now. So, how do I see distortion? Is the seeing of the distortion a rational, uh, a thoughtful, ra you follow, reason process? Or is it. It's instantaneous. I mean, it's, huh? it's without time. It's uh, yes, without time. And there's a sense of distortion without. Uh, yes. Uh, but later we may express it. Right? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. The seeing is out of time. Yes. Now, as we should go slowly on that because. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yes, because uh, see, sometimes one feels that one, it comes in a flash, or sometimes the seeing comes at it so gradually, as it were, you don't know when it comes. You see, the same, both of those have, are just different ways of experiencing what is out of time. You see, no, you don't really... Can it come gradually? No, no, I don't. It just seems to, you see. I'm not saying it does. Uh -huh. In other words, when you think it over and you ask... Ah, that's it, from my Because you never know exactly how it comes. That's my, yeah. Yes. Sometimes when you think it over, it seems it came in a flash. You know, yes. Or sometimes it's, it sort of came in so gradually. <laughs> Uh -huh. See, uh -huh. see. Sometimes you think, "When did I understand something?" And you say, "I don't know exactly when." You see, but uh, see. So being out of time means we don't try to put it in a flash or. And just a minute, sir. Just a minute. I want to see. The seeing is the doing. Yes. I see and do. The seeing is the doing. Yes. Therefore, there is no gradual no. way. No, there's no gradual way, but I think if you say it's a flash, you also bring in time. Ah, no, of course. I mean, if it's sudden. You see, if you say it's sudden, you bring in time. And time if you say yes. it's gradual, you bring of course, of course. So you can't say either. Now, uh, would you put it, the seeing is the doing. It has already been done. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you want to find reasons for... You want to explain it in, yes, in terms right. of reality. You see. That's right. I've got it. That's right. You see, you try to see you're slipping back into the notion that reality <coughs> is what is, Quite and nice. truth is merely explaining, you know, as information about reality. You see, so uh, now, in the moment of seeing distortion, the action takes place, and the distortion would uh, will then vanish. You see, but what I I think here's where the problem comes in in the usual situation. Somebody sees distortion, but he later finds out that he's still not free of it, do you see? Yes. And therefore, you know, time has, you know, by all this has come in, you know. Then he's not seeing. Yes. If I'm not free of my distortions, though I've seen it, I haven't seen it. Yes.
way one might look at, one hasn't seen the whole of it, which is means yes, one hasn't whole, seen it. Yes, put it in yes. Uh, and the, that's where the seeing self is the whole. It is the whole, but now, <coughs> see, I think this point needs to be worked on very carefully because what generally happens is one sees, and let us say, not the whole, and somebody, see, now I ask you, well, how, what am I to do <laughs> in that situation? You see, I say, I, I saw the distortion, you know, and, but I, still it seemed that it came back. I and then you're not. Right. Right. So how shall I see the whole of it? So it won't come You back. can't see the whole of it. Right, then how shall I see so you it won't come back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that this is worthy. So I think the catch is in this, if you can put it, is seeing, doing, a, a thought process. No, of course. If, if you say it's not, hmm, and the thought process is only comes in in explaining hmm, all the rest of it. The seeing is the doing, which means seeing the whole. Must be, but it's not seeing. Right? Yes. And if, I, if the mind sees the whole, then it, it, the distortion can never come back. Yes. Now I have to see the whole field of reality, because that's yes. where the distortion yes. is. Yes. You see, perhaps I'd say I have seen the distortion occurring in certain activities. You see, at my own, right? I say, in certain cases, I see that I distort. But that is not yet seeing the whole field of reality. No, no. Because I begin to think that I distort in this way or that way. You know, in other words, I... But then... So I have to see the, the whole field of reality. That's what it looks like. I think you do, so When you see and the doing, in, you must see the whole. Yes, what I mean is the, the whole, the, es the essence of this field, you see, the, not, not every little detail. No, the, no, of course not. But the essence. Yeah, yes. Uh, can you, can one pre- Can one say what that act of intelligence be in the field of reality? I didn't get the question. Huh? I didn't quite understand it. Can one pre pre state what is it? Predicate. Predicate. Can one tell another? verbally, what that intelligence will do in the field of reality. You, I don't have permission myself yeah, to communicate, yeah. communicate or state beforehand what it will do. See, sir, I'm trying to find out I see this truth operating in the field of reality as intelligence. Now, what will that intelligence do under these circumstances? Can one say that, ask that question, or is it is a, a distorted question? Well, it's somewhat distorted. I mean, Isn't it? Yes. yes. Because it uh, presupposes that, that the intelligence is one reality and almost yes. operating on another. <laughs> yes. uh. So that's what we are doing all the time. Tell me what that intelligence will do in the field of reality, and I will follow that. You have that intelligence, and you. And I request you, I ask you, 
pray to you to tell me how that intelligence operates in this. That makes no sense. Now that through the operation. Even to say that somebody has the intelligence makes no sense. I mean, I, I think you could say that, well, no, perhaps we could try, that intelligence may be operating in the actions of one man, let's say. Yeah. I don't know if that would be fair yeah. to say that, then, mm. right? Let's suppose. Yeah, and uh, rather than saying he has the intelligence. Yes, correct. Uh, and it seems to me that if I could see that there really is no distinction of one man and the other man. Quite, quite. That would be the key. So, what place has love hmm, in truth? Well, that's a difficult question. I mean, uh, to difficult to know exactly what the question means. Question means this. What is generally called love, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it always in the field of reality? <coughs> well, I don't think it could uh, have it in, uh, not be basically in the field of reality. But we have reduced it to that. Yeah, it could operate in the field of reality. Yes. So what? what is love and truth? Is truth love? Love, that word again, what it means. Yeah. Love to be, what does it mean, sir? You know. I don't know, I mean, it's, 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 the meanings are very unclear when you look up in the dictionary, but aside from pleasure and so on, which is a basic that. root, actually. That's all reality, of course. Yes, the, the, the nearest I could get to it was uh, uh, goodwill and benevolence to all or something. You know, that, that compassion. Compassion, goodwill, benevolence. And, uh, but most of the meanings go back to various forms of pleasure. Pleasure, yeah. quite right. right. Uh, all right. Is pleasure <laughs> in the field of reality? Well, it seems it is, yes. It is. Then, that pleasure it has no relation to truth. Well, you could say that uh, in genuine enjoyment there is a kind of pleasure which... Is enjoyment pleasure? Well, it depends on how you use the words. I know, that's what course, I mean. If you want, you can establish a distinction of the words and say it's not. But there may be a apparent similarity of the two. I, mean. I enjoy. There is enjoy, not I. There is enjoyment in seeing the tree. Hmm? Not that I am enjoying the tree. Yes. But there is the seeing of that tree is a joy. The seeing. Mm. Therefore, the acting, seeing is the doing, and the doing is joy. Yes. Huh? Yes, so far. Yes, good. Right. Then is compassion. What place has compassion in the field of reality? If we say compassion is love, truth. Yes, I, then that's all part of the action of truth. Isn't it? I mean, it's all in the action of truth. All in the action of truth, right. It becomes very difficult, this. The words are difficult. And the, uh, you see, if you say love is is in the action of truth, the the, act, the action of truth includes, at the very least, let's say, benevolence and compassion. Compassion. I mean, uh, 
So it's all one, isn't it? Seeing, doing, compassion. It's all one. Not seeing, then doing, then compassion. Seeing, as we said, and the doing is the whole. And when there is that seeing as the whole, there in that there is compassion. Yes, I mean, one might just see that that is absolutely ne- that's the necessity of it. You see, the, because uh, the truth is whole and the visible, see, the lack of compassion could only arise from the vision, couldn't it? I mean, in other words, sense of the vision. Yes, lack of compassion. In other words, if man feels divided from other people or from nature, and then he will not have compassion. Lack of compassion, yes. So if there is no, if it, no division... That is compassion. Compassion is inevitable. Yes. yes. So this all one. Yes. Which means, uh, if you say there is love for a particular person, person or feature of reality, then that implies division. Or would, you or would you say, sir, <laughs> okay, seeing, doing, truth, love, all that's love, let's call it for the moment. I may, I may love you, hmm? In that love, because I feel compassionate in that sense, I love you. Is I don't. You don't become a particular thing. I love you. I don't. Well, to make it more clear, you see, uh, because there's the tremendous tendency to particularize. You see. That, When I separate you, hmm, in that separation, love cannot exist. Yes, now what do you mean by me without separation? When when thought process operates in me as mine and not mine. When there is that sense of duality, hmm, that sense, in that sense, is there love? Is there compassion? No, because, you know, there is no inherent separation. Yeah, and that, we said not. Then, when there is the, when there is the perception of whole, which is love, then I love you. Hmm? Uh, and also have the same feeling for that, mm-hmm. for the other. Well, what meaning do we give to different people in this uh, whole, what you say? Or to different things? I've known you for years. Yes. And the others for years. Sorry, it sounds sentimental, forgive me if I go into it. I love you. It doesn't mean I exclude the others. But it seems, I mean, I'm trying to say to understand a certain I, I live with you. I'm, yes. I, I cook for you, or you're my wife, or I'm this, or whatever it is. But I'm, the others are not excluded. I understand that. No, but it seems there is some truth to, say, to uh, distinguishing certain people, let's say, different people. Even if only, even if we don't exclude, you see, that, that of is, course there must make be. a distinction with no exclusion, mm-hmm. right? Yes. So, see, I'm trying to get at something because uh, uh, I'm getting it cross. Well, go ahead, sir. Because this is one of the problems, sir. Yeah. 
If I love you, we have made that love as an exclusive process. You're mine, I am yours, with all the um, dependency, you know, all that business. When I see dependency, see, then I see the whole structure of dependency as a whole. Yes. And therefore, the seeing is the doing, I'm a, is the finish. Yes. But are, are you and I realities, do you see? It? Huh? Are you and I realities? Of course. All right, is that what you mean to say that uh, uh, to a certain extent you and I are realities? Of course. And I may have love for you or for it, and, and, and I have uh, something in reality. In other words, it seems there's a relation, or not a re an action of truth in that love is an action of truth in reality. Reality. That That's what we said. Yes, that, yes. That, that's just coming yes. back to it, to be clear. But I'm trying to, that is, when I see that I depend on you, which I call love, mm -hmm. yeah. and I see the whole nature of dependency, all the intricacies of, mm -hmm. then it's finished. Therefore, I no longer depend, which doesn't mean all the rest of you know, callousness and all that. And the seeing of that is compassion. Therefore, I love you, though I don't depend on you. Yes. Hmm? Oh, we'll get into some. Yes, so the saying of that is, um, what I say, is, is necessary for compassion. I mean, that, or is it, if we say it is compassion. It is compassion, of course. But as long as I depend on you, yes. the other thing is not. Yes, well, if I depend on you, There's something false, but uh, of course. Of course. Uh, so what are we saying, sir? I'm trying to find out really what what is the relationship between uh, no, no, sorry. What is a man who lives in reality? Hmm? and observes the rational and the irrational in that field, the, the seeing the irrational is the truth. Yes. Because mm -hmm. he sees the whole of the irrationality of that field. Huh? Yes. <clears throat> and because he sees it, his action is <clears throat> the seeing is the doing, therefore that is the truth. So he lives in truth in the field of reality. Huh? Yes. Yes, sir. I'm being Right. Yeah. You see, I think the basic uh, thing that's false is that when I say when one person depends on another, that he is seeing the field of reality as something more than the field. In other words, he is seeing it as that which is and giving it overwhelming importance. Importance, quite. And therefore, everything is distorted. Uh, So, in a school or in an educational business, or a, a, a man who is trying to communicate, mm -hmm. how do we, how does he, 
communicate truth to the student. Because the student only lives, you know, <laughs> how does he communicate it to him? To the wolves, huh? To yeah. how, mm, to how, how do you communicate this thing to a businessman? To a priest? To him, living in reality, he has created a, the image of God, uh, Jesus, or whatever it is, and that is distortion. Hmm? He won't see that. Well, isn't it possible to communicate the fact of distortion? Yes, you can, but you it is resist it. in a such tremendous mm -hmm. conditioning. I mean, that's what happens with most of the students. Yeah, or with anybody. Huh? With any, I'm taking with anybody. Yeah. How do you break down that resistance? Through compassion? Well, I think it's necessary. Huh? It's necessary to... to have... The man, you are compassionate. It's not enough. I mean. it's, you are compassionate. Yeah. And I am terribly conditioned. I believe um, deeply. You might be very kind, gentle. No, I don't mean only that. I mean that I don't uh, depend on you, and I uh, understand. No, no, you you are out of it. I understand some of your. You know, yes, yes. Now, how do how do you how do I how do you react on me? How do you make me break this thing? needed, you know, is simply a, not just compassion, but uh, I mean a, an energy. Yeah, that's what I was calling passion itself, a right? passion itself, which means you, one has the tremendous energy, which is born of passion, compassion and all the rest of it. Does that energy Wait a minute, I'm trying. Does that energy create, bring about a new consciousness in the other? A new, new, not, 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 a new Let me put it in that way, Sorry, I'm trying to Are we adding to the consciousness a new content? No. Huh? I shouldn't think so. I mean, I mean, if you add a new content, wouldn't it be the same story? Same thing. That's what I'm. I mean, that's a, you see. I've listened to the Buddha. I've listened to Christ, or Jesus, or what oh. the priests call me. I've listened to Judaism. I've listened to various things, and all these have, are the contents of my consciousness. And you come along and add some more to it, another. Well, that's all. Because you are energetic, you have got full of this thing burning, and I absorb that and add another candle to it mm -hmm. in my consciousness. And you say, don't do it. But I have already done it, because that's my habit, my, cause, my conditioning, that I add, 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 carry on burden after burden. Yes. How do I receive you? 
לא יסר, אפילו הליסמנט, אפילו ה... ‫הפרות הרי נולדו בכניסה. ‫יונסטיין? ‫אף פעם, זה הבעיה. ‫אתה יש את זה בבעיה באוניברסיטה. ‫אף פעם, אתה יכול להגיד משהו ‫לאדם, לסטודנט, ‫שהוא... ‫אתה יודע מה זה, ‫אני לא יודע. ‫זה הבעיה של... ‫תרוז. ‫ואתה מתחיל את זה, ‫אתה מתחיל את זה. 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 Unfortunately, I'm not in that position because I don't care very soon. You don't care what? I care. I mean, I don't care. I won't say I do listen. If they don't listen, they don't listen. I well, won't. I mean, that's more or less what I do to us. <laughs> 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 But I mean, if you really want to, uh, as I see it, there may be a few who are uh, ready to listen to some extent. I mean, all, all, <coughs> you... bring a new quality to the consciousness. You know, I don't know. See, sir, look, Stalin, Lenin, Hitler, uh, the priests in the name of Jesus, the Hindus with their priests and so on, they've affected consciousness. Hmm? ‫אבל לא באופן פונדמנטלי. ‫לא באופן פונדמנטלי, לא, ‫אבל הם אפקטיבים. ‫כי הם היו חברים, ‫הם 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 היו חברים, Are you adding another chapter to, the, to that consciousness? Now that's a danger. That mm. Or are you saying, look, out, get out of all that. There is no seeing without freedom. Hmm? Hmm. Right, sir? Yes. So freedom is the essence of seeing. Freedom from prejudice and all the rest of it. Yes. Therefore, a mind that is free can see, does see. Does the seeing is the doing. Yes, that's what I mean. In fact, of course, the lack of freedom is the yes. lack of seeing. I mean, it's a, of course. Uh, I mean, we uh, always go around in the circle. Mm. The, uh, you see, the lack of freedom is the ‫הריאליטי זה האינסטרומנט של... ‫כן, הריאליטי. ‫-אבל... ‫הקומוניסט אמר שאין דבר כזה ‫כמו חופש. ‫אני חושב שאפשר לדבר על זה, ‫אבל אני חושב שהרבה קומוניסטים ‫הם מנסים לדבר על זה, ‫כמו שקרל מרקס, ‫הם מנסים לדבר על זכות, ‫אבל הם חושבים שהם יכולים ‫להשיג חופש. 
through to reality by by changing reality. Reality, yes. They would eventually arrive at freedom. I think this is closer to it, you see. Yes. There may be many communists who are, as you say, but I'm taking the the, those who really understood the, the, what they Mao understood, Marx. of course. Of course they said that. Of course Mao yes. said uh, change the environment. Yes, change the reality of man and man. he will be yes. free. free. And uh, of course man who is not free cannot change his reality. <laughs> <laughs> so you see that's the danger. Um, <clears throat> yes. But we have to step out of the whole thing. That's yes. right. Step out of the whole thing. And that needs energy. Mm -hmm. Yes. As long as I live in the field of reality, which has its, its own energy, mm -hmm. that energy will not free me. No. But the seeing of the distortion in that field of reality will give that energy. Yes. I think I refer to say the seeing of the necessary and inevitable distortion, you see. Because one might see distortion and hope to... Get ah, and and no, 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 no. The, the seeing of the distortion is energy. Yes. I yes. mean, that's, uh, the seeing the distortion cannot be avoided in that field, you see. That, no, there can be no way out of distortion in the field of reality. Oh, wait a minute. Are you seeing... In the field of reality, if distortion it, is inevitable. As long as we stay in that of course, field. Of course, quite, quite. Let's see that. See, I think that many people would say, see, it just occurred to me, many people would say, yes, I agree with you, I distort. But in the back of my mind is a hope. I could get out, you know, I could do something and stop it. Quite. Uh, no. The meaning, the desire to stop it is another form That's of distortion. Right. Another form, of course. Of, not of course. obvious at that moment. <laughs> of course. Uh, you see, so I have to see that there's no way out in that field. Mm. There's no way out in that field, of course. Oh, wait, sir, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. In that field of reality, there are distortions. Yes. The seeing of the distortion. Yes. Seeing in the sense the whole. The essence of the whole. Of the whole of distortion. The seeing brings that energy. Hmm? Of course, must. Which is which is I cannot see if there is no freedom. Of that distortion. The, yes. Hmm? Yes. Sir. The seeing of the distortion, but it is energy. Now you see. Uh, yes. See, well, I think uh, couldn't we say that the feeling that there is no energy is also a distortion? Of course. Of course. Uh, no, we said in that field of reality, <coughs> reality has its own energy. It has a kind of energy. And a kind of energy. And uh, I think then we'd say that energy includes desire. Includes desire, yeah. includes all the whole all the, lot. All the forms of energy. Yes. Will. And also the energy of distortion. Yes. Now, now to see that distortion, the mind must be free. Yes. Mm -hmm. Must be, look at it, must put it outside it, as it were, and look at it. Well, when we look at it like this, that the whole field of reality you know, is permeated with distortion. Right? Yes. Now you're proposing that we can look at, in some way, this whole field of reality. You're saying we can, in, in some sense, put a distance to separation. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Although, yes. at the one hand, we have to be very clear because <laughs> we don't want to we're also saying there's no division. Do you say no, that? <laughs> that, that's not the observing the observed and all that. Yeah, there seems to be a contradiction here, right. so we have to try to clear <clears> that up. <throat> but I think there's a difference between a, a kind of a would you say a kind of a space or an empty 
Yes, that's something that's empty. Empty. Between, I don't know what, I know, between might be a wrong word, but uh, that this reality... This reality is empty. <laughs> yes. Quite. Well, this reality is nothing. It's nothing, yes. Uh, there was some point which I know we just mentioned, you see, that uh, uh, if we said it was no thing, see, the word nothing means no thing. Uh, no thing, quite. See, so nothingness is no no thingness, which is not reality. See, reality is to be something. Right? See, quite, quite, quite. So, if we say nothingness doesn't mean unreal, it's neither real nor unreal. No. But it's entirely out of that field. Out of that field, quite. And ultimately, reality is nothing, no thing. But now we're saying, see if we can get this clear. You see that there has to be a kind of space of, of emptiness, is that or nothingness? Yes. In yes. which the thing can be seen. Because seeing is truth, which is no thing. No thing. Or that's nothingness. Right. Yeah, that's right. And seeing can only take place in nothingness. Is that That's true? right, sir. Which is energy. That it, when the mind is empty. Yeah. When the mind is nothing, not a thing. In that, there is perception. Yes, yes. And energy. Energy. Now, the mind is nothing, and reality is nothing, but reality is no thing. Yes. Ultimately, although reality is thing, but yes, no, that's what but in <laughs> essence, it's nothing. Right? Which means, you see, could I look at it like this that uh, there's nothingness, but in and nothingness is a sort of a form, that, uh, which is reality. Yeah, that's right. Right. But a form which is nothing. <laughs> Quite. But sir, <coughs> that that presupposes that there is nothing. Well, that's only an image too. Uh, of course, uh, that's what I want. To yes, I mean it's an image too. Uh, Because then you would turn nothing into a thing. Again, okay, becomes the whole thing, quite. But let's say the mind, in some way, steps back, as you say, this is, is not closely connected with this reality. Would you say to see? You say there's a space. There must be space between. Uh, not between, there must be space. space. In, if reality, I, I get to feel that the reality is in the space, you see. Yes. Now, and in some way, therefore, when you say space, it means that there's room. Distance. Distance, that the thing is not closely connected. I mean, that's where, in other words... So, do, isn't there space when the observer is the observed? Yes, we have to get it clear. At first sight, it sounds wrong, you see. To, to have a space sounds like a okay. separation. Mm. But we are using this, I mean, we are not using the word space as a division, as a dividing yes, factor. Well, can we make it clear? Of course. I mean, the space, when I see something that cancels, there is a space. Yes. Verbal space. A space of uh, distant time and all the rest yeah. of it. But the seeing yes. has no space. But well, then why do you say this? The seeing has no space. Yes. But before you said, you know. Uh, before I said, people, when they say, I see, there's a division. Yes, but you said that we should be able to have some space between uh, us and reality. Uh, we said, we said there should be some space in the sense, not a division. Yes, well, we have to say there's two kinds of space <laughs> then. The one is dividing and the other is not. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Now, one is One is dividing, the other is not. As including, it would not be right. Just say yes. the space includes everything. Yes. To see and the doing, in that there is no division. Yes. Where there is division, there is a so-called space of time and distance and all the rest of it. In this there is no division and therefore there is 
then it is it is it is what should I say? It is in space. I don't know. Yes, well if I'm making my I'm not Well everything is in space. Of course. You say that space includes everything. Space Yes. Yes, of course. I, I exist. Mean, you exist. We all know and that space is not a division but rather a, you could almost call it the ground or the Yes sir. Yes. Uh, now or the underlying uh, substance, you know, in the yes. sense of... The space I create where I dislike you, mm -hmm. or like you, is different from the, spa from the space... Uh, from the freedom of space, of this, of this space. Of uh, this room, I'd say. Yes. Yes, if you know, we see the space, the, the room is one whole space, uh, Part of it, it goes into the outer space, and every object is in that uh, in that space, space. <coughs> that we're yes. all, in some sense, uh, united, all yes. one. Yes, all oh, yes. All right. Without space, we couldn't exist. No. That's yes. I wonder if we are talking of the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, are you thinking? Are you discussing a space of the mind as well? Yes. Space in the mind as well. As there's the space, uh, the visual space, which we can sense as one, and the space in the mind. Space in the mind. And the, can we say that the reality is in the space in the mind? Reality is the space is it within. I can artificially create it. Yes, but I mean, when we say we have to see the whole of reality uh -huh. from a space, with the space. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, is this whole reality within the space of the mind? Uh, uh, no. Let's get this clear. <laughs> no. Let's... Sir, look. To see... To see that an act, seeing is acting, in that there is no space as division. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that's clear. <coughs> Therefore, that space is the freedom of nothingness. We said that. Yes, well, nothingness is the same as freedom because yes, that's as right. soon as the yeah. thing is a thing, it's not yes. free. That's it? all that we say then. Yes. Therefore, truth is nothingness. Yes. <laughs> not a thing. Right. The action of nothingness, which is intelligence in the field of yeah. Reality that intelligence being free and all the rest of it operates in a reality without distortion. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's one factor. And In the mind, in one's mind, if there is no space, but clouded, um, but crowded, with problems, with okay. uh, images, with remembrances, with knowledge, with all that, th such a mind is not free and therefore cannot see and seeing acting. Yes. Right, sir. Because my mind is crowded, it cannot, uh, it's not free. Because in the mind, it's so crowded, there is no space. Yes, now when there is no space, then uh, the mind is controlled by all these things. Yes, controlled by, yes. Environment distortions. distortions. Or influences right. that make distortions. Yes. That's right. Now, yes. 
So a mind that is empty, hmm, nothing, is capable or the seeing of it is the doing and the doing is truth and so on and so on and so on. And is that space limited because of the mind? Limited in the sense, of course it's not limited, it can't be. Mm. Right. Now the thing, say when the mind... It is, it is not created by thought, therefore it's not limited. Yes. But this space can, uh, is, can see the thing of reality and act in relation to that thing, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so That's in, right. in some sense, the thing can be absorbed into or assimilated into that space. Is that what you mean? So in other words, uh, the, since the space can do, can I relate to the thing? I don't quite follow. You see, uh, perhaps I'm brief. I don't. Well, what are you saying, sir? In the space, mind, in the space of yeah. does reality exist? That's what I'm saying. That's a, that perhaps there's no reality in the space, but in some sense, that's there's right. the essence. Well, that's right, sir. Well, there's no reality. Yes, but there is some essence. In other words, when you contact the thing, you see, the the thing is thought, right? And huh? The thing is thought, as we're saying, what we think about. Yes, that's right. And well, the, this thought is understood, I mean, in some way. You see, the uh, I don't know exactly how to put it, but. Are you are we saying so I'm just yeah. are we saying when there is space in the mind what 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 has reality? What place has reality? Yes. Hmm? Yeah. What place has reality? Which is reality is that which is the thing which is thought about. What place has thought in that reality, in that truth, in yes. that emptiness, in yes. that space? Yes. What place has reality in that space? Has it any place? Has has thought any place in that space? In that uh, in, in that spacelessness? Which ends the distortion. So there is, I'm trying to discuss that in some way the space seems to contact this field of thought. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, this is what is yes, concerning me. It takes action in that field and so, brings it forward. I mean, yeah, I understand. Is, uh, make it much simpler for myself. What place has thought in that space? Well, it may have no place, but then what is the relationship between that space and thought? And thought. Let's put yes. it that. What is the relationship between that space and thought? If thought created that space, well, then it would have relationship. Well, but thought has not created that space. No, you see, I, we were saying say, at the end of the last time that truth can act in reality. Yes. But reality, not in truth. That's right. So we say. That's right. Therefore, this space can act in 
in real in real in reality yeah. or in thought. Yes. Although it doesn't go the other way. Yes, the, no. yes. It's one way. Yeah. Take okay. it. <laughs> uh, and it acts primarily, as I said, to uh, straighten it out. I mean, to quite. quite. Uh, and if it's straight, then thought can move on its own. That's right. Hmm? Yes. So, what is the relationship of that space to thought? Well, not to the content of thought, it has none, but if we consider, in some sense, thought is also within that which is, do you see? I mean, in other words, if we said thought is a reality, you see that when we say thought is not working right. Ah, ah, are you seeing this, sir? When thought is operating, yeah. straight, rational, sane, healthy, holy, mm -hmm. that has a relationship to this space. Yes, I'm implying that. Yes. That's so it. In some way they are then parallel. Parallel. And, and, but this space can also uh, uh, act within thought to... Yes, to, we said that, we said that. To help make it parallel. Yes, right? yes, we said that. Yes. It's a one-way one way relationship. Yes, uh, it's one way as I mean, I'm trying to make a distinction, it's very hard to make, between if we take the content of thought, which is consciousness, then that has no action on yes, the space. Yes, but yes. I'm, see, I'm trying to say that uh, the distortion of thought goes beyond, to see that goes beyond content. Yes. Right? Yes. To, I don't know Why do you say beyond content? Well, not exactly. To, to the way it's working, do you see? Well, I could say they're the same. Uh, so that, you see, what, what is the action you see, of, of, of uh, truth within thought? That's really the question. Yes, what's the action? Yes. Right. <laughs> I mean, in general, you can see it's to straighten it out, you know, to remove all this distortion, but I mean, to see it better. So, wait a minute. Seeing is the doing. Yes. Let's stick to that. Yes. Mm -hmm. The seeing of distortion is the ending of distortion. Yes. The ending of the distortion it is ended because there is that energy of seeing. Yes, which acts somehow within thought then, then. on thought. It, it, I see a distortion outside of me and inside me. Yes. And the seeing of that, the, to see that there must be freedom, that yes. freedom implies energy, yes. and the seeing is the pushes it away, clears yes. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, the, there is rational, sane thinking. Yes. What relationship has that, what is the relationship of that, to this space in the mind. Well, that only arises when the space has cleared the thought. Yes, that's, we have cleared for right. um, From then on, it may be moving parallel to truth in some Yes, way that's what I want to find out. Is it parallel or is there harmony between or the harmony two? harmony or whatever the word. In some way, it, it is in harmony with that which is, we'll say. Yes. But I wanted to also say, in some sense, thought is also that which is. Do you see? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it's very, now, but in another sense, yeah, it's no, not. No, quite, quite, quite. Now, uh, therefore, thought which is within that which is, is in harmony with the whole of, or, I don't know, this is a poor way of putting it, with that which is, do you see? Quite, uh, I understand. Now, uh, if there is disharmony, that is also that which is, and the truth can, of it is that Can we is. put it this way, sir? For the moment, we just... Thought is measure, time. That measurement can be distorted or rational, that's clear. Yes. So thought is a movement in the field of time. Yes. And we say truth is not related to that. Well, in a sense, uh, one way. One way. The truth does not depend on thought. Thought, thought may yeah. depend on yes. truth. 
thought may depend. The thought may be, uh, be acted on by truth. Yes, yes. Thought can act upon truth. Not the other way around. Truth. Acts. I mean, I mean, sorry. Truth can act upon thought. Thought. That's understood. Now it made it. it's clear. Then what's the problem? Then they are all in the same field, aren't they? In the same space, yes. mm? within the mind. Mm? Yes. Therefore, there is no division. That's what. Mm? Yes. Between there is no division as thought and truth. And truth. Yes. The division is the result of this thought. This thought. Yeah. <coughs> That's right. Um, so it, as it in the same field. So hmm? therefore, thought is also, you know, with, within. I don't know how to put it. Thought is also within truth. I mean, moves. It moves as. Uh, no, just me, truth, sir. Just me. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Thought we said is of time. Hmm? It's of time, but it may, uh, in some way. I want. Yeah. Thought is, is, time measure and all the rest. Yes. We said truth is not that. Yes. Then what is the relationship of thought to truth? When that is, when it is when that question is put, you are thought is looking to truth. Yeah, it is, yes. And therefore it has no relationship. But when truth Mm. Looks, at thought. looks at thought. It says <coughs> I have a relationship. Yes. In the sense, I use a quick phrase. I use time. I function in the field of time. Yes, and that's the same as the field of reality, isn't it? Yes, in the I, f I function function in the field of reality. Mm. Now, is there? Do they run parallel all the time, or is it, there is no division at all? There is no division when truth is looking. Yes, but when truth is that's, when truth is looking, it's only the division from when thought, thought. When, when thought right. tries to reflect truth yes. in itself. Yes, you say, that's so. right. I that's think right. that's where the trouble arises. I mean, maybe the whole trouble that yeah. the thought yes, that tries to reflect truth in itself Talk, and, yes. call, and calls that reality. Yes. That's right. And calls that independent of it. Yes. That is, when thought considers, reflects upon truth, yes. then there is a division. Yes, I mean, thought intrinsically divides itself divides. from truth, yeah. but, but that is false because. Thought is only reflecting. Reflecting, quite. But when truth regards reality, there is no division. No, there's no division in reality. Uh, let's see, is because uh, we said when truth operates in the field of Reality is operating with intelligence. Yes. Hmm? No, reality is a necessary field for truth you know, to operate. Ah, of I see. You see right. driving at that, and and truth and reality are really when from seen from the side of truth, then they're merely terms. You see, in this whole operation, if you see what I mean, that the that the difficulty is in ordinary when thought, as you were saying, when, when we start from thought, when thought starts and tries to reflect on truth, and regards, therefore, it, it produces the notion of a reality and the truth about that yes. reality. And therefore it's divided. That's all divided. And Fragmented, yes. And also uh, it gives this reality the significance of that which is, so it must distort, you see, it must Yes, yes, it. yes. All right, now, the, but it, see, it, it, if we don't, if, if the basic thing that goes wrong is that when reality is given the significance of that which is, 
Yes, sir. And therefore that becomes real for, for truth, for yes. reality. Yes, yes. quite, quite. Right now. But if reality is simply an action, a function. Yes, yes. Of, in of intelligence. Intel then, it's quite then, then it's all part of the, the one, you see. Yes, sir. Uh, when intelligence operates in the field of reality, it is one. Yes. It is, doesn't divide. The, you know, the reality is merely a field. It is not yes. a, uh, that which is or an independent substance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is well. That's something we have discovered. Mm -hmm. Yes. And And then there's the space, it seems, you see, to, to say that the field of reality is in the, in the space. In the space rather field than of being reality in this space. Wait a minute. Correct. That means thought is in this space. That's correct. Sorry to explain it, but you see, when I start from thought and reality as in, you know, as in that which is, then I think this is a substance which is just by itself. And here's another one. And they're separated by space. Space, see. quite. Now, but if I look at it another way and I say, the, there, there is a truth, or the space acts, right? and reality is merely a function of that action. It is not an independent set of substances. I see, I understand. You see what I'm driving at? That stand each one by itself, separate from all the others. You see, it's not that which is, do you see? Yes, yes. Truth, you are, are you saying, sir? Truth. When it operates in reality, mm -hmm. then in that there is no division. No, because we don't think reality just stands by itself and yeah. truth is somewhere else out there. Yeah, quite. But rather, reality is a function within the operation of, of truth. truth. Yes. And so truth has a need to, for reality. Well, as its function. <laughs> as it, right, right. But, but when the function becomes all important, then yes. yes, it tries it. When the function is given the value of that which is, then it must become all important, you see, yes, because right. that which is is what is all important. Quite. Yeah. And then the whole thing must distort. Uh, uh. So you are telling me, don't be concerned with truth. Hmm? Be concerned with the reality and its distortions. Yes. So hmm? One has to start observing. Yeah. Yeah. The ambiguity. Huh? Don't bother about reality. It's not your function. I mean, truth. I mean, um, don't be concerned with truth. That you don't know what it means. Be concerned only with reality and its distortions. Reality is well, thought and all the rest of it. And you say to me, be free of distortion. And to be free of distortions, just observe the distortion, not resist it, push it up, mm -hmm. just observe the distortions. That observance needs freedom. Yes. And therefore that, that freedom and the observance will give you energy to push away the distortion. Hmm? Yes. Right. And the seeing of the distortion is the truth. Yes. So the truth is not something separate from seeing. No. Hmm? And the doing. They're all one. And this this is intelligence which operates in the field of reality without distortion. Yes. And truth then is, I've gone far, I'm just, I have mm, 
freed myself from distortions. Therefore, I'm asking the question, then truth is seeing and the doing and the operation of that intelligence in the field of reality, in the field of reality. That's all I know, actually. Yes. Hmm? So I have in my consciousness great many distorting factors. Yes. Do I get, do I wipe them all out with one obs- uh, um, see, ob- observation, or am I to take one by one? Well, you can't take it by one one. Therefore, seeing is the whole. It's the whole. That's it. Therefore, when you see the whole, that the whole. is the truth. That is the truth. That's see that. the whole of the field of reality. Yes. And that is distortion. And therefore, to see that, mind must have space. And that, could you say that means mind is not occupied with all Occup- the details? Occup- of the mind of the that occupation implies um, corruption. Yeah, you see, the word, Occup- empty, the word emptiness means not occupied. Not basically. occupied. So it's not occupied. It's empty. It's empty because it's no problems. It has no uh, mind, and it's it's empty. Therefore, the emptying of the mind of its content is meditation in all the rest. Yes. I got it. Yes, sir. Well, there's just one uh, point I had that occurred to me that. See, it seems that something that comes close to the essence of this distortion is that the whole field of reality is the, the tendency to take that field as that which is. Sir, so if I, just me, I'm just thought, if I, if the mind discards and puts away all distortion, yes. hmm, what is the necessity of thought? Except as a function. Well, as a rational function. Function, that's yes. all. Yes. Well, I think that. Uh, ah. See, many people might feel that thought ought to be a rational function, you know, but uh, they can't make it so. No. no. Uh, if thought is not. Mm. is left, what should I say, if thought, let me just make sure, if there is no, I'm asking, if there is no controller of thought, just a minute, then it will create all kinds of distortions. Oh, no, no, not if the, not if not really, the truth is operating. That's it. Hmm? Uh, Therefore, thought itself is a distorting factor. If the truth is not operating. Yes, I mean I think that's quite right. You see that uh, uh, that if truth is not operating, then thought moves in all sorts of fortuitous ways. It's like the wind and the waves. You know, of course, the, like, the waves come in and they go this way and that way, crisscross. They be the quite. And whatever happens will just shake thought, make it go all around and distort. Uh, but Would you say thought in itself is divisive, understood, is in itself distorting, it's creating distortions? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. Are you trying to say it necessarily does so? You know. See, there are two possibilities. One is to say it's thought without truth necessarily distorts, or the other is to say thought, no matter what happens, thought is distorting. Now, I don't think we want to say that thought. No, no. Right, the other, no, right? the other. Right, so we say thought without truth is is thought, a divisive that's process. Right. Thought, thought without the capacity, without that quality of seeing. Yes. Is a distorting factor. Yes. Uh, yeah. 
you see, let's uh, see. I, I was trying to th look at it this way. The thought is a kind of re uh, contains two factors: to react and to reflect. You yes. see that react and reflect. Um, it's this immediate reactive factor which makes it seem so real and may react so fast that you don't realize it's thought, you see. The thing you know enters yes, into what you see. Now, the difficulty arises when you lose track of the reflection, do you see? Quite it kind quite of becomes an illusion, you see. The, <laughs> you know, as if reflection has occurred and thought loses track of it. And then the reflective thing will be taken as Real, as real, as, as genuinely real. I mean, we must be awfully careful here that the world Maya doesn't, you know, illusion and all. No, I think that's a mistranslation yes. into English. You see, English. The, the word Maya probably originally meant uh, is to measure. To measure, and that measurement considered as the as that which is would be illusion. Yes, but yes. Measurement considered in itself as a function, you know, is is, uh, is rational. Uh, How? Oh. I think we just How long have we talked? Right, it's 530. I mean, what time oh my start? god! <laughs> That's too long. We've got to stop. <laughs> That's a reality. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we do this every Saturday? Sir? Would you right, mind being yes, here for yes. us? Yeah. Fine, yes. And not Sunday? Not That's Sunday. too right. much fun. Yes, now next Saturday will be all right. The Saturday after that, we're having the scientists' conference. Of course, conference, so we'll we'll be. Be. Right.